a good and chaydish er to all. This is the this is the chaydish you have to go to a doctor. Ani Hashem Fecha er Aleph Yud Yud Reish. Ani Hashem Fecha. Yeah, it's a schooler so from some safe. I think that you should go to a doctor. So on that note, I'm not saying share. I'm leaving. <laughs> and it says this says the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah. Reb Shimon Oimer. We saw where are we, uh, where are we uh, finding from Rabbi on Chaf Beis on the base. Thank you, Mishnah. He said uh, we saw yesterday that the, the other day that the concept of schus being toila is much as three years. The shittas are be one year times three. That a woman possibly a woman possibly could go ahead and and uh, exist for even though she drank the meimarim, she could exist for a longer period of time. And Lachaira, it should be a problem. Let, let's say you're a woman and you've done something wrong, and you see this other woman who you know also did something wrong, and she drinks the Maymarim, and there she is, she's good. What's going to stop you <clears throat> from being involved? And you don't know the reason she's good is because she has the schus of either the mitzvah according to Rabbi Yosef. Or according to Ravina, the schus of bringing, sending a son to yeshiva or, son, or waiting for her husband to come home. So in other words, that's problematic. Says Rav Shimon, therefore, Rav Shimon, ain't schus toilet b'mayim amarim. There's no schus. It doesn't, you're gonna, you, you drink it, you're either dead or you're not dead. V'mat ha'ayma schus toilet b'mayim amarim, mad he ato es ha'mayim. Literally, you're discoloring the water. You're dimming the water, right? You're meaning you're, 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 you're going to go ahead and weaken people's belief in it. Why? If they call Anoshim in front of all the other women, Hashay says, "Who might see at the shame of the Tahirah is just And what about the Tahirahs that drank, and they really were Tahir? So I marry us to Meir saying, "Elish she falls to them schus." Conversely, not only is it going to be bad may marim, it's also going to go ahead and and uh, place questionable about women who really were squeaky clean. They, I mean, weren't squeaky clean after all. They were behind closed doors with a man that wasn't their husband, but. Uh, they were not, they didn't indulge in an in, in Isser, they didn't do an Aveira. So you're going to go ahead and say, one second, maybe she did do the Aveira, the Skos So therefore, because of that reason, he says, we don't say the Skos Taylor. Because of that reason, we don't say the Skos is Taylor. That's according to, that's according to Reb Shem. Rebbe, I mean, Rebbe says, Has the Skos is Taylor in the Mayim HaMarim, right? Meaning, you will have Skosim. However, you don't have to worry that people will say the Mayim Amarim doesn't work. You know why? Right? Because Miss Navna, we had this earlier in the Masechta, she's going to get weaker. But and it's going to, her strength will continue to wane. And the Saif, and in the end, he may say Misa. So it's not Pshat. When she drinks the Mayim there is no effect. There is an effect. The effect is that she begins to change physically. Her appearance changes. She begins to get weak and everything. However, she won't die until X amount of time. And eventually she's going to blow up. But in other words, you have enough uh, evidence that the May Marim is working, right? So watch. You drink the May Marim, you drink, you drink the May Marim, and you are guilty. However, you have the Skusatayra. Good. So says Rebbe, you will begin to see the effects of the May Marim right away. Mimela, no woman is going to say, one second, the May Marim doesn't work. And no woman is going to say, that she was uh, she was on a tahira that she was tameya but she has has rats for sim because if she's tahira there would be no effect guys right if she's a tahira there'd be no effect right away so Manela, beautifully according to Rebbe you kill two birds with one stone by the fact that she's getting what getting weaker right away so, okay. I had a kasha the kasha this is there's another opinion uh, there's another opinion over here the opinion is that. She, it's the schus is toila and, and nothing happens. And the schus is toila and nothing happens. So the, here's the question. Moshe Yehuda Stern asked me this question. Him of uh, the Indian suit fame. He said, how is it possible if she's guilty and you don't see an effect, so what's going to happen? She's going to go live with her husband again. But one second, how could she live with her husband again if she was Tamea? I think it's a Gavali Kasha. It's a Gavali Kasha. If Bishlam alight Rebbe, you begin to see the effect. So the husband is out because you know she's guilty. She's just not dying. But like the opinion that she goes ahead and she would be no effect until until she actually blows up later. How could she go back to her husband? 
So here's a good teretz, guys. It's a very, very nice teretz. We spoke this out earlier in the Masechta. Should this, what's the Chiddush over here? That she's mutter to a husband or asa to a husband? No, the Chiddush is, is that she can't live with us anymore or she should be able to? And the answer is, she should be able to. She should, why? We're gonna, we don't have aid in that she did something wrong. Let's establish her on a chazaka. She's a chazaka of being what? Tahira. We spoke that earlier. This woman is a chazaka of being Tahira. Good, she was buying closed doors with a man, but we don't have aid to any, any, any illicit, illicit action. So she has a chazaka. The chiddush is of saita, of the suffix saita, if she does, since she had kinoi vistira and was behind closed doors, she's asa tamei, he, he, she's tamei, until she drinks. Until she drinks, she can't live with her husband. What happens as soon as she drinks? What do we do then? We put her back on a chazaka. When she drinks, we'll put her back on a chazaka. Right? We'll put her back on a chazaka. Therefore, she can go ahead and and live with her husband. That's it. That's how it But isn't isn't a bracha that once she lives with a husband and she had the bracha is she'll have children, and that's part of the bracha. So she'll have children through this. Uh, only have children if she was guiltless. Oh, so she wouldn't have children if, 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 if she's guilty. If, she's not having children. No, she's not okay. Getting... Okay, you guys are good. You hear, but you hear the lumbus behind this. It's, it's it goes yeah. back to the original source. You know, in learning, very often you have to go back to what we call the svarah What is what is the basic where you're starting from and what's the chiddush? Like if you learn sight and you don't think about it, you say, oh, "Of course she's asa." What do you mean? Of course. <clears throat> what do you mean, of course, she's asa? She, you have no aidist that she did anything wrong. Why is she asa? But in this case, she is guilty. It's only there's a mitigating factor that's holding it off. You don't from the, but again, from the sentence taking effect. You don't know, you don't know she's guilty. You don't have aid that she's guilty. You all, in other words, the drinking the water is Mavara Suffolk, correct? It is. So the Kiddush over here is that even once you drink the water. In other words, she's only us until she drinks the water. Once she drinks the water, we're putting back on, our, on the original din of a chazaka. So circumstances not nishtay nishtay We just want to know one question. How could you live with a husband? The answer is because she, we have a chazaka over here that she could live with a husband. That's a, why? Because she drank the water. Again, it's only a question like the Manda who would hold that you don't see any effect of the Maimorim, even if you have a schus toila. Like Rebbe, it's not a problem. You're going to see the effect right away. Good. So therefore, she would never be able to live with her husband. And then when it kicks in down the road, is it Gloy Muslim afraid she shouldn't have been living with her husband? Or no, no, has nothing to do with it. L'chaira, yes. L'chaira, yes. However, again, L'chaira, yes. But however, again, however, however, again. Let me ask you a question. Dov, if a woman is Mizana, you have no Adis or anything. She lives with her husband. At the end of the day, she did something wrong. She lived with her husband. So the same thing over here. You know, once she drinks it, as I just said, the Zelda did, once she drinks it, right? What, once she drinks, it takes off the kina, the steer, the reglion with Dava. The whole partial site is over. It remains what? A woman that you don't have Adis. You have suspicion, you don't have Adis. What happens if a man did not give kina Vestira, right? Guys, think of kina Vestira. And she was behind closed doors with a man. She had yichud with a man. Can she live with her husband? Absolutely. Absolutely. Once, Dov, once there's no kin of a she can live with her husband, right? In other words, that makes it a little easy to understand, right? In other words, how you find out later? Okay, but she can live with her husband. Again, the chidosh saita is, with kin of a you can't live. You ask her until you drink. Okay, very good. I think it's very, it's a good hagdara. Says the Gemara Vaita. So, <clears throat> Now, turning to the carbon mincha. Okay, outside, guys, let's go through the carbon mincha. She brings, she takes wheat, it's a barley, she takes barley, puts it in a mitzvah kfifis and puts it in an Egyptian wicker basket, brings it to the base of Migdash, the kayim puts it in a klishares. As soon as the kayim puts it in a klishares, it gets kedusha saguf. Once you get kedusha saguf, there's no pidyan. You can't, you, you can't take it off. You can take off Kedusha's dumb, you can redeem, but you can't redeem Kedusha's Agur. By Psulim and Mikdashim, by an animal, if you get some mum, you can redeem it, but again, by a Mincha, there's no mum, there's no Psulim and Mikdashim, okay? So once it, once you put it in the clay. So now we're going to deal with the halacha of, 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 of that. We're going to deal with that halacha. It says the Gemara. Nitmeis had Mincha, so if a carbon Mincha becomes what? Becomes Tamei. Actually, Kitsha Bikli, before you were Magdash Bikli, it became it became Tamei before you were Magdash Bikli, 
It's like any other carbon mincha that became tamay. Why? Because it, since there was no kedushas aguf, you can redeem it. What? Again, as long as long as I didn't put in klisha race, there's no kedushas aguf. As long as no kedushas aguf, there's no different than any any other any anything that you could go ahead and and, and redeem. You could be paid up. and and the money and and the the barley goes to chulin, and you would use the money for what for 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 carbon. However, once it's infused with Kedushas HaGuf, once it's infused with Kedushas HaGuf, it's like any other carbon mincha, and you'll burn it. There's nothing to do. You have no choice. It says Rashi, bottom line, it can't go out to Chulin anymore. You can't be paid to it. Okay, that's, that's a simple din. However, the these are the minchas that will be burnt. The carb now, these are the minchas that will be burnt. Now, partially was speaking about a saita, but we'll see it can be speaking about also carbon the dove in certain cases. She says, I'm tame. In other words, she says what? She says, I'm guilty. You will magnish the mincha and you say, listen, mincha is here. You're going to drink. As soon as you drink, you're going to die. She says, I admit the truth. I did it. I admit the truth, I did it. What's the halacha? The halacha is that what? We're go she's going to go ahead and, and you're going to burn the mincha. I, we had a kasha. Why is she believed? Gemara in the end of the Dara, maybe she had her eyes on another man. And the answer is, as Baruch said at the time, to Mechavim to Taisis and Dafav, once this kind of hysteria, she is believed to say to Mayani. Once you have Raglayim Ledova, she is believed to say to Mayani. Pini Rad Chav Gimel Amin Aleph. At the top, and we're discussing when you're going to burn the carbon mincha of the saita. You're not going to bring it as a carbon because something. So if she admit the truth after it got kedusha, you're going to burn the carbon. You're not going to bring it. Another way to burn it: She doesn't say I'm tamei, but Adam come and say they saw her do it. So until now it's been a suffix. Now with Adam showing up, it's a vadai. Once it's a vadai, again. Guys, what's the purpose? Let's go. Guys, what's the purpose of the Karb Mincha? Maskeris oven. It's a way of going ahead and clarifying whether she did, did or didn't. Once you have clarification that she did, no longer is it needed. In other words, you could say the following. Guys, look at me. You could say the following. Why are you burning this carbon? Why, why are you burning the carbon? In other words, it's not Tame. There's nothing in, 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 intrinsically wrong with the carbon. Why are you burning it? And the answer is... The whole purpose of the carbon is to go ahead and be part of the protocol to make sure to find out whether she did or she didn't. Once you know she did, there's no reason to bring it. It's a, it's it's like hegdish betois, and therefore, <clears throat> therefore you're going to burn it. It's, it's again good good nuances of of understanding the sugya. Weiter, voimeris einishaisa. She says, "I won't drink." Again, this is before your moichet the megillah. Right, this is according to one opinion before you might the Megillah. The husband says the following listen, she wants to drink. I don't want her to drink. I am gonna to have to give her a kasuba. I I won't be able to live with her anymore. I love her. I don't want her to die. I don't want her to die. If the Baal says I don't want her to drink, again, they can never live together anymore. Because why? Because she didn't drink, he'd have to give her a kasuba. Because it's he, it's his call, not her call. Guys, if she would say Tameyani, she doesn't get a ksuba. If she says Ain Shaisa, she doesn't get a ksuba. Because the ball was in her court. Once the ball is in the in the, the husband's court and she's willing to go through it, she'd get her ksuba. So over here, she he says that I don't want her to drink. They're coming from again, they had Kina Vistira in the court in their hometown. They're now coming to the best Nagodman Yushalayim, because she's gonna she's gonna drink by the Shar Niknar. And along the way, the husband was with her. Once the husband was with her, that's it. It's finished. She can't drink anymore. And you know why? And then she's asked to her husband forever. Yeah. The husband, for his one shot deal, is losing his wife. She won't be able to drink. Once she can't drink, she's finished. Next. Now, this is a whole new parsha. This is not. This is not a soita. Labdafka soita. This is also a nidava. Also in the double, as as a proto guys as Akdama guys, what's the difference between the mincha of a of a of a Yisrael 
and the mincha of a kayin. What's the difference of a mincha Yisrael and a mincha of a kayin? So the mincha of Yisrael, we know, you do kemitza, and after kemitza, the shirayim is permitted for the kahanim to eat. It's kodesh kedoshim. What's the din of a kayin? There is no kemitza. Kulay kalol, the whole thing is burnt. What about the din of a woman that's married to a kayin? Either she's a kayhenes married to a kayin, or Yisrael is married to a kayin. What's the din? Does it have a din? Again, if she was a kayhenes, then it would not be a kayin's carbon. You would have kemitza and achila. If she was a kayhenes, non married, and she has to bring a carbon mincha, uh, then you do a kemitza and you'd eat a shirayim. If it was a male kayin, the whole thing would be burnt. What about a woman that's married to a kayin? Whether it's a kayhenis or Yisrael, it doesn't make a difference. There's a part of him in it, and there's a part of her in it, right? So you know what the din's going to be? You're going to do kemitza because of her part, and you're going to go ahead and burn it, and you're going to burn it, but not on the base. You're going to see, you can burn it, you're going to burn it because of his part. The chol and nesuos lekahanim, right? All nesuos lekahanim min chayseim nesrafais. The shirayim, the shirayim. Again, you're going to do a kmitza. The shirayim will be burnt. Bas Yisrael. Here's the explanation. Bas Yisrael shenisus lekayin min chasen nesrafes. I mean, it's going to be burnt. Why? After kmitza, because the, the kayin has a piece of the action. The kahenis shenasal Yisrael. Conversely, a kahenis married to Yisrael. It's going to be eaten. Now, I think it would be eaten even if she wasn't married to Yisrael. I think, I think it would be eaten even if she wasn't married to Yisrael. I think because she's not a Kayan. So I don't know. The case is a funny case, right? Good Rashi, guys. Kayhenes, three, three lines down. Bas Kayen. Minchosen Echeles. Minchosen Echeles. The whole Minchas Kayen Kalol Tia, like Saichal Ksiv. Avo Kayhenes and the Suli Israel Necheles. The Chain, not only if she's married, it also would be. So Lav Dafka, Lav Dafka, would you say she has to be married to a Kayin? Okay. Baita. Ma ben Kayin lekohenes. So now the Gemara is going to give, go to Megillah fame with a Ma ben. Right, and you're going to learn the differences between a kohen and a kohenes. Right, it's not talking up broad in in, in the Sefer Megillah. Ma ben kohen le kohenes is minchas kohenes neacheles or minchas kohenin neacheles. The minchas of a kohen is not eaten. The minchas of a kohenes is kohenes mischaleles. Let's say a, a bas kohen has relations with somebody that she shouldn't. Right, a goy or somebody else. It's going to make. It's going to, she's going to come as zayna. She won't be able to marry a kohen. The kohen a mischalel. The kohen himself, however, let's say he marries a gerusha. We know from Masech the Makas fame, the child will be a chalol, but the kohen would not be a chalol. Kohenes mitamaa lemesim. A kohenes can be mitamaa lemesim. Vein a kohen mitamaa lemesim, but it's also for a kohen. Kohen oichel bekoshe kedoshim. A kohen can eat a mincha. Atos an asham kikiri kachi kedoshim vein kohenes achelus kachi kedoshim, but a kohenes can't. We're going to see why in the Gemara. Ma bein ish the isha. What's the difference between a man and a woman? Very interesting. By ish poireo poirein by mitzoyra. This week's parsha. Avi Rosenzweig is going out of his mind. This week's parsha, guys. That um, the din of mitzoyra that he has to have his his clothing ripped and his hair. Undone, you know, he can't take a haircut and his mustache can't can't cut his mustache, can't take a shave, even for the Shabbos of Svira. I can't, can't go ahead and take take a shave. Right? However, a woman 
the clothing is not ripped, and also the what that she, her hair you don't you don't undo her hair, you don't cut her hair. Her ish, again, this is geshma, guys. Ish mother es benazir. We just had this right. Halacha mosh misinai a husband a father can make his son into a nazir. Ben ish mader es benazir, but a woman cannot. Uh, we had that Shaila by Chana. How was Chana able to make a Shmuel into a Nazir? Gedenksas. Good, Baruch Hashem. Ha'ish megaleach al Naziris Aviv. Father, the Nazir separates money. Father dies. The son could use the money to bring Karbanis. Ve'ena ishe megaleach al Naziris Aviv. If a father is a Nazir and she's a Nazir, she can't use the money. Ha'ish magdash has pitoi. A man has the capacity to be magdash his daughter. Ve'ena ishe miskadash has pitoi, but a woman can't be magdash her daughter. Unless the rabbanon, if the husband died, you know, by a meon, the man can send his daughter when she's a katana as a as a as a, as a shivcha. The einish mecheres as pita as an amar can. Ha'ish niskal aram, a man once he does skila, you do it aram that he should die quickly. The einish niskal asruma, she's not she's not niskalus without clothing. We said that the bush of being naked would be worse than the actual lot, you know, making the death take a little longer. Because she has something interposing between her and the stones. Ha'ish nitla after after their the halacha is after misa b'dei shemayim actually misa bezdim they they hang up the person to go ahead and sh- to learn for a short period of time they put him up and put it down. A man is hung up ve'nish nitlas but a woman is not. Ha'ish nimcha b'gnei basa if a man steals he stole this as an eved ve'nisha nimcheres b'gnei basa so a whole slew of interesting halachas that the gemara will go ahead and go by just give us sources for. It. Just one second. Just finding out where Pini was. Okay. So, Tan Rabbana. Kolan is suas lekuhuna. Anyone who's married to a Kayin, min chayseyem nisrafais. The focus on nisrafais. Okay, guys, outside again. Do you have a chilek, a regular Kayin, regular mincha, but again, you do a kamitza, and then the shirayim is permitted. The Kayin, you do not do a kamitza, you just burn the whole thing. Now, if a woman is married to a Koyen and she has to bring a carbon Mincha, what halacha does it get? Does it stay the halacha of a regular Mincha? Or does it stay the halacha of a Koyen? And the answer is it's a hybrid. We're going to go ahead and burn, do a Kamitza like a Yisrael's carbon, but we're going to burn it like what? Like a, like a, a, a Koyen's carbon. Now, there's a problem. There's a problem with it's like Tirumi Menu. If you're not able to go ahead and burn Shirayim, if you bring a carbon Chatas, you can't burn the meat of the chatas. Like the tira mi menu, mi menu from the carbon is an issa to burn. So how in the world over here are we able to go ahead and burn the shirayim? You're not allowed to. That's the Gemara's problem. In other words, I, we're being mekayim this hybrid carbon. We're doing kamitza like a Yisraelis, or, and we're doing a, a burning like the kayim, However, and not eating the shirayim. However, you got a, a technical problem. Once you do kamitza, it has it in a shirayim. Once it is in the Shirayim, how can I bring it up on the Mizbeach? That's what the Gemara discusses. Says the Gemara, Tan Rabbanah. Kol anasuas l'kuhuna min chayseyim nisrafais. Ketzad. Chayhenes livi of Yisraelis. Shenot nisus l'kayin. Eimin chasen necheles. You can't eat it. Veshyesh loy chelik ba. Because he has a piece of the action. And his carbon is burnt. Ve'ena oilu l'kalo. But you can't burn the whole thing. If Veshyesh lo chelik ba. Because why? Because... She has a chalik in it. Ella, a koimitz karev ba'atzmo, like har karbin. But shirayim kravim atzmon, and the shirayim are burnt, right? So the, now the havamin of the Gemara is that it's burnt on top of the Mizbeach. However, says the Gemara, you have a problem. Ikri kan, I'll apply the following pasuk over here. Kol shehumi menu le'ishim. Anything from it goes to the fire, meaning, loisak tiru mi menu. You can't burn from it, from the carbon itself. You're not allowed to burn. So how can I burn the carbon to fulfill his problem? I'm not allowed. What's it Shirayim after the Kmitsa? I can't bring it up there. You go ahead and put it up. Guys, you have a chatas, pieces of a chatas get, get, get mixed up with a piece of an oil. Oil is burnt, the chat is eaten, right? So says Rabbi Eliezer, you take the whole kit and caboodle, you put it on the Mizbeach, and you have in mind that the Ivarim of the chatas should be le- eats, eats them. They should be, they should be, fi- they should not be reich nichayach. View them as fuel rather than an offering. 
So therefore, I'll do the same thing over here. I'll take the Shirayim, put it up there. I'll view it as fuel, as eat, eats him, as, 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 and not as a Shirayim, not as a carbon. So it's Lois Saktir Mimeno. There is no Mimeno. That's the, that would be an Eitza if you hold like Rebeleza. The Tanya. Rebeleza, Aimer. When is it also to bring up anything on the that that's Shirayim or that's uh, or let's say a Chatos or Asham? You can't bring it up as a carbon. You could put it up. So therefore, I got an Eitzah. You take the carbon, you do a Kamitzah like her part, take the Shirayim, put it up on the Mizbeach like his part. Don't call it Shirayim, call it Eitzim, and you won't be over on this. It's like here in Menu. Says the Gemara, honey, Rebbe Eliezer, that goes good in Kudabi Lisa. This lay high Svaro, who has the Svaro of Reich Nichaya. El Rabbanon, however, according to the Rabbanon, the less do I Svaro, who do not have the Svaro of Man, of Lisa Kirimi Menu, of burning a Lashem Eitzim, my Ekel and Mema, what are you going to say? And for the Gemara, the Abluk Rebbe Shimon, we're going to do it like Rebbe Lazar Rebbe Shimon. Okay, now, outside, background. We know that there are in Vayikra Hey, there are carbonists that are brought that are unique. They call it carbon oil of the Meaning, if you go into the base of Migdash and you, you're Tame, you find out you're Tame, or you make a Shuas Bitoy, you're going to bring a carbon chatas. Good. However, this carbon chatas is unique because it depends upon your financial uh, position. If you're wealthy, you bring a sheep. If you're uh, poor, you bring birds. If you're really poor, you bring what? You bring a Asham. You, excuse me, you bring. Flour. You bring flour. You bring flour. So now, you have over here, the case is discussing, is you have a, the minchas of a girl, a girl, she, right, of a koyen. It's a, not a girl, it's a koyen. He's an ani. Guys, he's an ani. He's bringing a carbon chatos. It's not an adava. He's bringing a chatos. Does it have a din of kmitz and shirayim? Or does it have the din of a minchas koyen? And you're going to burn the whole thing. When we say you burn the coin's carbon completely, that's a minchas nedava. That's when you donate. Over here, this is a mincha that he has to bring. It's a minchas chiv. It's a chayv. So is there a din of kmitzah or not? Now, this is the discussion in the Gemara in, in, in Menachas. So what, what, what does the Chachamim say? The Chachamim say the whole thing is burnt. Perhaps Rav Lazar B'Shem and say, the Tanya, Rav Lazar B'Shem and Oymer, ha-koymitz karev ba'atzmo, you burn the koymitz by itself. The hashirayim is pasun al beis adeshen. And the Shirayim, you're going to go ahead what, and put on the base the suggestion. Yes, you have a question? Any, anyone, everyone's good? Guys, everyone understand the idea? You have the idea? One more time. When we say a Koyin's carbon mincha is totally burnt, we know that's speaking about an adava. Where a coin said, I'm going to bring a mincha soilis, I'm going to bring a mincha um, afesaner, I'm going to bring a mincha macheshes, mincha smagas. He Now, what about if the mincha is not an adava? What about if the mincha is a necessity? You have to bring it. I was a kayin. I didn't realize I was Tomei. I walked into the base of Mikdash. I was a kayin. I made a shuas bitoy. If I was wealthy, I'd bring a sheep. If I was poor, I'd bring birds. I am poor, Sheba poor. I'm an evyon. I'm going to bring flour, which is a mincha. So now I have a mincha schaita. Question. This mincha schaita that I'm bringing, does it have a din of a kayin's carbon, or does it have a din of a regular Yisrael's carbon? That's the question. What's the nafkamina? Whether you can do kmitz or not. It says the chachamim, mincha snedava, mincha schaita, the same thing. It's a kayin's carbon, you burn the whole thing, there is no kmitz, the whole thing goes on top of the mizbeah. Says Rabbi Lazar of Shimon, it's a hybrid. You do do kamitza. You do do kamitza, right? Because it's not a nedava. However, the shirayim, you can't eat. What do you do with shirayim? You don't put it on the base of Migdash. You don't put it on the on Mizbeach. You put it in the base of Deshen. Remember, there was a place in the base of Migdash where they burned Kachim that became puzzle, right? Not on the Mizbeach. We just had it the other day. You, you burned the what happens if the mincha, uh, the mincha, the mincha of, you don't need the mincha of the saita because she admitted the truth. You're going to burn it. Where well, you are going to burn it? You're going to burn it in the base of Migdash. It's Kachi Kedashim. So the same thing over here. The Tanya. The laws of Hashem and A koimitz kara batzmo. The carbon koimitz you bring by itself. Vashirayim is pazun al base adeshen. So that's what I'm going to do over here. That's what I'm going to do over here. Where you have a kohenis carbon. 
you have a problem of taking you, her parts to commit the part. Why she has a piece of the action? You have a problem bringing it on the mizbeach. Like you don't bring it on the mizbeach. You bring it into the base of Desh and you burn it. That would take care of the problem. Okay. If you don't hold like Rebbe Yezza, that like Rebbe Yezza, you can put it on the mizbeach proper. Like Rebbe Yezza, Shimon, you burn it on the on the outside, not on the mizbeach proper. It's possible on base of Desh and on the base. They only argue that you burn the whole thing by the mincha of a kayin. That you can't over here by the mincha saita. Afilu rabbanon maida. Even and I, I said saita. I don't mean saita. That the kahenis has a piece of the action. Afilu rabbanon maida. The taka would be saita as well. It would be the same then. So the chachamim would be maida over here the following. You would do a kmitza. You would do a kmitza. When the chachamim say by minchas chayva, you don't do a kmitza, that if it's the kayin's carbon himself. There's no one else who has a piece of the action. He owns it totally. There's no chilik between a chayva and an adava. Totally burnt. But over here, since she has a piece of the action, once she has a piece of the action, that requires a kmitza. If it requires a kmitza, the chachamim would agree, you do the kmitza, and they would agree, Lazar Shimon, you, you, you burn it by Sadeshan. So therefore, when our Mishnah says, the Elu Min Chaseim Nisrafais, that means the mint of a, a woman married to a Kayin, that's speaking according to everybody, if what, that you're not going to burn on the Mizbech Papa, you're going to burn it on the Besa. According to Revelesa, you can put it up in the Mizbech Hashem Eitzim. Okay, look, guys, this is Kachim 101. This is a lot of min, Minachas 101. It's so, again, it's it's like in my bloodstream, but you're saying this is, uh, you, you hear it enough, it'll make sense. Avi Rosenzweig, you look perturbed. Because you're hearing Mincha for the first time, you, right? You're good? Okay, good. Okay, now, we had a bunch of dinim in the Mishnah, right? A bunch of dinim in the Mishnah that uh, one by one by one, the differences between Kohenis and the difference between man and woman. Now the Gemara is going to bring the source for them, okay? What's that? Now the Gemara is going to bring the, the, the sources for each one of, 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 uh, of these things. So now, he said, a Bas Yisrael that was married to a Kayin, the Mincha gets burnt, right? The Mincha gets burnt. And the Kahenish that's married to a Mincha, that's married to a Yisrael, then what? It's eaten. It's eaten. So the Gemara wants to know my timer. Now, my timer to what? So look at Rashi, a fourth line down. My timer, Kamamas Nisan, Minchis Kahenes, Necheles, Kishen and Nesu, the Kayin. Well, Kishen and Nesu, the Kayin, Ain and Necheles, right? It's not eaten. Kolo me In other words, why is it this hybrid? In other words, it should either be eaten, like normally, or burnt, like kain. So my timer, Domat Krab, we call Minches Kayin Kolol Tiyeh Loi Sochal, Kayin Loi Kahenes. In other words, she's married to a Kayin. It's as far to say it has the same halacha of a Kayin. Says the Pusik, no. This thing of burning a carbon completely without a kamitza is limited to a kayin. The minches kayin kolol tia. The minches of a kayin kolol tia. Dafka the kayin and not what? I said leisachol leisayachol leisayachol kayin v'lekehenes. Guys, good, very good. Kayhenes mischaleles kayin mischalel. If a kayhenes is with a man she shouldn't be with, she becomes a psula zayna. Whereas what a kohen does not, mina alon dama kra lo yichal zaroi ba'amav and do not be mechal his zera among his nation. Zaroi mischalel his zera is mischalel, but who ain't a mischalel and he's not. So in other words, it's not a question why the woman is. That makes a lot of sense. She's a zayna. She had relations with a ger or a goy. She can passel. Masha enkein, masha enkein him right. Since it says that he makes chalolim. But this again, this is that base in Marcus, the first dot, right? Make, wants to make a kalvachayin. Anyway, so the, he makes chalalim, but he himself is not mischalal. Okay, we said kohenis mitamal lemesim. We said what a kohenis can be mitamal lemesim. But in a kohen mitamal lemesim, my timer, al makro and parshas emor, emor al kahanim bnei aroin. It says bnei aroin, beloved bnei aroin. Okay, kohen oichel bekotche kedoshim. A kohen can eat kotche kedoshim. Those of us who say he's a koyim every day, right? We, we, we see that we know that a chattis and osham are eaten in the Beis Hamikdash proper only by zichrei kahuna. 
a shlamim, conversely, or any other kachim kalim a toida for that reason, it, or bachar, or maisa behema, is eaten the cholo ear by both males and females. We want to know what, what's the, what's the why? 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 Any zacha among bnei Aaron, you'll, you'll eat it. Any zacha among bnei Aaron, you, you will eat it. Okay, so I uh, have a wonderful meshachach over here. A wonderful, explain why women can get not go ahead and eat it. It's, it's guys, it's a gavaldiga piece. We can see it. Yes. Okay, this meshachach is in Parshas Kairach. It's it's an, it's Meshachachma is in Pasha's Kairach, and it's uh Perik Perik Yud Ches, Pasik Tes Yud Pasik Tes and, and Pasik Yud. Okay, as a Hakdama, guys, there's a svar to say the reason why a Kaihenis cannot eat is <laughs> she's not Kaidish enough. In other words, it's a chesaron. She's not she can't do the avoida as opposed to a kain that could. So a kain that could do the avoida could eat. The kainis that can't do the avoida can't eat. But that's not true. You know why? Because balei mumim could eat. Balei mumim do not do the avoida yet they could eat. So you see, it's not a chesaron in the person because balei mumim can't do the avoida. Still, they can't eat. So here's what the pasuk says: kaidish kadosh lechahu uvanecha. I should be kaidish to you and your sons. This would explain why Bali Mumim could eat it, why Bali Mumim could eat it, and why women can't. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, What's going on here? Got to mute people, boys. I'm going. Yes, I'm, I'm about to do right now. Okay. Okay, so the, why can Bali Mum meet it and not woman? Mishum did Sarah Lachla Bazara. Because you have to eat it in, in the Azara. Visham and in the and Visham and in the Azara. What? Visham and in the Azara. Ain't a royal shake she tikanisha. Woman can't go into the Azara. Ukimesha Umru, as it says, right? Woman can't go in the Azara as it's as it says what? As it says. Isha Bazar Minayan, Marin Kedushin, who came with Shaina Roy Bimokoim Shakedushi Hashem Oimdim. And it's not right for women to be in the place of where both Kaddish Hashem stand. Ulavavam to Rudim Bavoida, meaning the Kanam and the busy, the busy with the Avoida. Shlaiti Hashem Isha, there should be a woman there, but Oichlim Yachad eating together. Why? Because if you have women there, she said, maybe they pierza begeda erva chalila. Having women there, again, Kaidish Kadashim has to be eaten in the Azara. If women could eat Kaidish Kadashim, it would have, cause a taruvis. You'd have men and women both in the Azara. Hey, no, Mar, therefore, it says, Kaidish <laughs> Yelacha. Who is unmuting this? Who, who's doing this? Please, please mute yourself. It's, 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 it's disturbing everybody. Serving me. Okay, so now let me get back to the screen. So women can't go. Can you imagine, guys? Here you are. You're doing the avoda. You're busy serving Hashem, and then you see women. You're seeing women eating there with you. That would be a pirtza ged of erva v'chalila. The chalmak v'shnema kedusha ainu el ged erva. Therefore, it says the chinama kodesh yelecha. The Pasik says, Kaidash Yelacha. Why does it say that? Pirish. Shesham Tehe Nigader Mina Erva. You should make a gather, you should make a fence around Erva. Well, the Kach Asra, Tyre Bosa Kotchen, Lebanois Aran. 
Therefore, it was also for Basel Kachim, Kachim Kadashim for them to eat. And that's exactly, says the Meshach Chachma, what the Pasuk means. Why does it go ahead and explain at the end, guys? Because right? it's, it, any place is a Kedusha, it's, it's a, there's a gather against Erva. The Mela says the Meshach Chachma beautifully that, what, that, that the woman cannot eat the the the, the, the the woman could not eat Kaddish Kedashim. Mashiach King guys, Kachim Kalim can be eaten by woman. Why? Because Kachim Kalim can be eaten all of Yushalayim. Once it can be eaten all of Yushalayim, you're not limited to be in the same space together. Beautiful Mashiach Chachma to explain what, to explain that this did. Shmak is anything. No? Yes? Hayul Shma, guys. Hayul Shma. Okay, very, very good Shmak. Okay, let's finish up. Says the, let, says the Gemara. Ma ben ish la isha. So we said the ish, uh, this is this week's parsha, Rabbi Avi. What? That pareya. The isha, the man rips his clothing and his hair is undone. But the isha, not. Now we're going to dash in the past the following, guys. We'll give you, give it, give, give it to you outside. There's two psukim, mamish, this week's parsha, perik yud gimel, pasuk mem dalit and mem hey. So what it says, ish tsurua. It says, Ish, a, a man who's Mitzayra, who tame, who tame, yitame, no akayim beresh nigay. So it's mashma that what? That it's mashma that the only man is what? Is, is, it's mashma only a man. The next Pasuk says, Vat Sarua Shabaya nega. Why are you saying the word Vat Sarua? You already said in the Pasuk before you're speaking about a Mitzayra. The next Pasuk where it says, Vat Sarua Shabaya nega begadav yiyu perumim. And then it says that Pasek. Good. So you have Ish, and then it says that Sarua. Good. So it says, here's the Joshua guys. That Sarua means a filu, a woman that is a Mitzayra. A filu, a woman that's a Mitzayra, right? She exists. However, you know why it says Ish Tzua? To limit the Mitzayra to what it says in the Pasek. Of the Roisha Yeperua, his head the, the, will be unshorn, is right. The Chalsaf Miata, his mustache will be what, right? And the Tommy Tommy Yikra, and his clothing will be the God of Yeperum, his clothing will be ripped. So the Ish, Ish, it says Ish, guys, and then it says Vatsarua. Sarua to include an Isha. What's the Hakpadan Ish? That the Hakpadan Ish is the halachas that it says below, which is that the clothing should be torn and his hair should be undone. So therefore, we know only a man and not a woman. Let's see it inside. Torah Bana. It says, Ish Tzuruah Hutamei, Ish, Enli Ela Ish, that there's a parsha of Mitzayra by an Ish. Ish Minayin, how do you know there's a parsha of Mitzayra by a woman? Kishuwayma, in the next Pasuk, Vat Tzuruah Sheboi Hanega, then his, his clothing should be ripped the Kahena. Why does it have to say Tzuruah? After all, Tzuruah we know from the Pasuk before. Harikan Shnayim, it's speaking about two, two, two what? Two Mitzayraim. And came at Tamalami Ish. So why the Pasik before say Ish? It says Murla in Yashalamata to concerning the Allah that it says below the word Vatsarua, which is what? That Ishia Purua Vla Isha. A Ishia Pruma Vla Isha. Guys, good? Very good. Mamish this week's parsha. A Ishma des Bino bin Nazir. A man can make a son into a Nazir. Vain Ishma deris es bino bin Nazir, but a woman cannot. Um Rabbi Yachim and Allah ibn Nazir. It's Allah Mashmi Sinai. That that we could do it, guys, is Allah Mashmi Sinai. If he leaves over any money, again, Baruch Hashem, we just did this, right? The son could go ahead and use the father's money for his Naziris, but a woman cannot use it for Naziris. Where is that? So it's Allah Hamash Misinai. Aish Mekadesh is Peter, Ben Aish Mekadesh is Peter. Why does it say? But it says by the obvious, the Naira says, as Peter in the Satyilish Azeh. So you see as that Beat in the Satyilish Azeh, that that what? He can do it as BT, my daughter, but not what? But not the woman. The woman can't go ahead and just midra bonon. If the father dies, we're worried about the woman, the girl being taken advantage of. So we gave the midra bonon. We gave the right to the or to the wife or the brother to marry her off, and that that creates the special din of mion that at the age of before she becomes a naira, she's able to go ahead and refuse the marriage. And I'm just you know, just that bringing back to the Yavamis days that I don't want you to get so comfortable. 
a, a woman, a man can sell his daughter into being an Amma Evriya, but a, a man, a woman can. Because it says, Simon, call me back in five minutes. I'm finishing share. Okay. It says when a man sells his bitel ama, man sells, but not woman sells. The next halacha, ish niskal aram, a man is is stung without clothing. Ben ish niskal es aruma. Why? Because the pasuk says rogmu oisad kol aeda. The whole congregation will stone him. My oisai. When it says oisai, ilay my oisai v'le oisa. If you can tell me that she doesn't get stoned. It says, right? It says, So you see that what? That women do get stoned. Ari, not the way you're thinking. But women, women, women do get stoned, literally. They get stoned, right? So why does it, so why does it say, him without clothing, and not her without clothing? Unless they after, after they're killed, they're hung up. A man is hung, a woman's not up. Because it says, And finally, we know that Allah of a man steals and he doesn't know what to pay back. He's sold into bondage. My timer, the Pasuk says, Everyone should have a great Shabbos. See you, Bez Hashem, tomorrow night.